SUV. It looked like, maybe I'm wrong, but it looked like a black vehicle. I, I, SUV. My first thought was a plane, but it wasn't. But it was, I don't know how he got that high up. I really don't. Well, we're glad you're okay and you're safe, given Just, that you were so many feet away. Yeah, it's a miracle. Yeah. But I'm glad I could come down and, and I did contact the media first, but then the, I got the call from the FBI. Yeah, yeah. so yeah. I hope I don't get well, myself in hot water. No, you're good. Yeah. You're good. Thank you. All I appreciate right. it. We you all, guys yeah. all have a good day. Yeah. Yeah. I didn't mention anything about how many people I'm, no. Okay. Oh, your microphone. Thank you, sir. Are you the guy I called from the from the Gazette? No. Oh. Uh, you gotta use my mm. Yep. Come on, Marley. Speaking. Okay. Can you spell your name for us, sir? Ricky. R I C K I E. Wilson, you said last. Right. Time. All right, and then talk to us about what you were what you were doing. I work for Grayline, and we're laid off this time of year. Uh, there was two witnesses that I know of, myself and another guy, and I came down to the one Niagara building to see how the sales guy was doing, and I closed the door to my car, and about 30 feet from me, I seen something airborne. I first thought it was an airplane. It looked like slow motion, and I said, my God, it's a car, and it, it's a vehicle, and it's flying through the air. He hit the concrete barrier probably uh, right at the signal, God knows how many thousands of feet before the bridge. It went airborne. The vehicle began to turn sideways and went under something overhead, and then it hit something over there. And my prayer was just, please don't let it, any of the officers you know, get hit over there. And then all of a sudden, black smoke, no explosion. We all heard, the people in the building heard it, the, uh, metal on metal. Then all of a sudden I saw black smoke and then fire. There was no explosion, just the black smoke. And then, the, then there was so much smoke, it was unbelievable. After a while, it probably took five minutes for law enforcement to get here. But that's exactly what happened. How fast did you estimate that he was going? Well, the other fella, the guy that drives the cab, says he thinks he was doing 100 miles an hour coming down this street here. But to me, it was like slow motion when the vehicle was up in the air. And he was just airborne. I can't imagine how it got that high up. So he had to be doing quite a speed for that to happen. How you what was feeling? going through your mind? Pardon me? How were you feeling? It that? was like a movie. Uh, like a, it's strange because I can play it in my mind very fast or in slow motion. And it's like a movie. I'm saying, oh my. And then all of a sudden I see a vehicle. It looked like an SUV, uh, but I, who knows what I saw. But it was a vehicle and it was in the air. How close would you say it was to where the, like the bridge inspectors would be? When the vehicle went airborne, it was down by this signal. It hit something uh, like a concrete thing that goes on an angle, and then it went up. It was up in the air, and it started to turn sideways, and then it went in. At that point, I was just praying that it didn't hit any of the Border Patrol officers. So you didn't see it actually like struck, strike where their booths are or anything like that? or It went underneath, and then I we it, metal hitting metal. That's exactly what I heard. It was metal on metal. Where but were you at the time? I was right across the street. There's the one Niagara building directly across the street. It was like it was 50 feet away from me, but that's exactly what happened. That car did not get on top. It was airborne. What were the flames shooting up in the sky? No, uh, it was black smoke. And then like, uh, it, they weren't shooting up. It was like, oh, like a bonfire or something like that. Then they eventually did get higher. They started out low. And then the flame got bigger and bigger, and then it went down. And by that time, the fire department, then I think they wanted everybody out of the area. Did you see how many people were actually in the vehicle? No. No, I could not see how many were in there. It was just airborne. The only thing I remember is it turned sideways and then hit over there. And at that point, oh, don't let it hit anybody else. So that's, this is the truth. What this did is you do exact... after the fact? Were you just standing there in shock? I'm still, still a little bit shaky.